So OpenAI just released the reasoning model O3 Mini, the great thing is it's free. So we're gonna be going over what it has to offer, what this tour is say about it, also gonna be testing it with prompts. So OpenAI in their new statement says, we are releasing our newest, most cost-efficient model available in both ChatGPT and API as of today. It is the first small reasoning model that supports highly requested developer features, including function calling, structured outputs, and developer messages. To be honest, it's a good choice for logical and coding problems. As of today, free plan users can use this by selecting the reason button under the prompt section. So basically, this O3 mini version is kind of like the O1 version. It's comparatively a smaller model. Um, it's said to be faster than the other reasoning models that were out there. Also, for the paid users, they have levels to O3. There's O3 mini version, there's O3, and then there's O3 mini higher version. In this one user posted a comparison between DeepSeek and ChatGPT. Uh, prompt was the ball is spinning in a hexagon. I feel O3 mini version did a more realistic approach to it, where I feel the collision is picked up more accurately. In DeepSeek, the ball has a more fast paced approach in collision. Another prompt the user shared ball bouncing inside a tesseract and O3 did a good job coding this program. This another user prompted a whole Twitter simulator and O3 took around 8 seconds to generate this. It has a sign up form, has the post section, also has a login logout feature. Also has a section where a user can post and not just that, it renders the name, the time and date when the user posted. So pretty good job. I feel this uh, would be just basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Another user asked all three mini to generate a autonomous snake game where the snakes are competing against each other, and I feel it did a good job. It does feel like a playable game, to be honest with you. Another user gives a prompt every five seconds, a bouncing ball is generated. The user wants a collision effect with it, and from the comments, Collision seems to be quite effective, but it says DeepSeek did a better job. The user says he had to explicitly prompt to get the collision part right with ChatGPT, but DeepSeek got it at first try. So with ChatGPT, now if you click on the reason button just below the prompt box, that would trigger the O1 mini model and that's for the free plan users. First prompt I'll test it with is a mathematical problem, it's an equation that needs to get solved. And it lays out step by step its reasoning process again sharp uh, it's calculating the x and the y variable values just like a human would go around brainstorming one by one but it's just that the ai models can do it at a much faster rate i feel the way it is going uh, it did do it right because y equals to 4x minus 11 that part till now i can figure out is correct to be honest and at the end it does give x and y values guys for more ai related stuff do like and subscribe for the next one i'll ask it to generate a simple website using html css and javascript there you go it added some sections gave the html and the css well like in deep seek you have the option to run the html snippets and directly preview them uh, you don't have those here so you're gonna test out these files in another website uh, which basically lets you test HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Here we go, we have an About Me section, a My Work section, and Contact Me section. There is a form as well, the Contact Me form. I'll try and put a wrong format text into email, just to check the validation of email. And it does not pass, so pretty good job by OpenAI. O3 mini version. I'll ask it to update and add some JavaScript form validations into the code. And there you go, I can see some JavaScript added. Um, so I can now copy and paste that and I feel like this would render form validations. And there you go. Um, please enter a valid email address so it did got the form validations right and there you go message sent successfully I'll go with another prompt just to check out basic reasoning for this so which is bigger 9.11 or 9.99 
I ask this because some of the reasoning models do have a problem with basic mathematical problems like these. It did say 9.99 is squared, so good. For the next prompt, I'll ask it a trick question. I'll ask it to sort out in how many ways we can buy this, um, adding up to $140. I feel there are two or three ways. So it's figuring something out, reasoning, making equations. You can see the whole reasoning steps one by one. So after all that, it says there are four possibilities. Zero horses and three goes and all these. So you get the gist of it. But it's not including a chicken. Um, it's only saying buy all these combos with one chicken. But let's say I want more than one chicken. Because right now it's, it's only restricted to horses and goats and not chickens included. But let's say I want more chickens. So in that way, how many scenarios would that come up with? So it's rethinking the scenario, understanding it. And to be honest, I'm impressed with the brainstorming or the reasoning details. Uh, it goes to explain out every single reasoning step. And the final answer uh, kept the one chicken and went along with the other combinations. And it's not quite what I wanted, but I'm kinda impressed to be honest with you with the detailed reasoning steps. Uh, so I feel with better prompting, we can still get a better result. For the last one, I'll go with the physics related problem. Train leaves at 60 miles per hour, another one leaves at 40 miles per hour. So it has to calculate the time and the distance for them to meet midway. Again, it got a whole list of equations. Uh, it's trying to solve, it's trying to brainstorm reason, if you will. Uh, so it came up with three R's. Let's say I edit the original problem, uh, saying crane, it takes a stop for 10 minutes. Let's see now how the prompts work or how the reasoning work. Now, does it update the previous equations? So it's revisiting the points. Calculating it came up with modified scenarios So it does update all the previous equations The meeting would be delayed six minutes. I'm not too sure But I feel it's right Because all the detailed Reasoning steps are given out So I feel six minutes is a rough estimate, but it's quite correct So I did show you my generations. Let me know what you think about these reasoning models that are popping out left, right and center. So let me know what you think.